Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tubefoo here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the plow here for the M1132 ESV Striker. This plow is designed to be used for mine clearing and also obstacle clearing, um, and is best suited for the M1132 vehicle. As I've done before, this is an add-on tutorial, so what this means is that you would have to go and build the original vehicle first, which I do recommend using the M1132 as your base vehicle to add this onto. However, this design will work for my other striker versions. Uh, my current design and future um, designs will work really well with this plow. So you do have some playability. You can put it on whatever striker version you guys want to put it on. Um, but again, this is designed to be more kind of specifically geared toward the M1132. You could also modify this and put it on uh, some of my tanks or whatever. So you can really kind of put this on a lot of things. Um, however, again, it's designed for the striker specifically. Um, and you may have to change it and modify it a little bit to make it work for other versions. Anyways, let's go and take a quick look here at the plow and then we'll move into the tutorial about showing you guys how to put this on as an add-on. To begin with, uh, we have basically the plow here. So the blade... Um, really nothing too fancy about it uh, has all the connecting pieces that connect up to the front of the striker and really just kind of creates a really mean intimidating look there for the vehicle at least I like to think and um, yeah that's pretty much the uh, plow pretty straightforward design pretty simple should be a pretty quick little add-on you can throw into your vehicle but without further ado let's go ahead and move into the tutorial all right guys so in front of us right here we have the m1132 esv and we're going to go ahead and basically put our plow on to go ahead and get started with, we want to go ahead and go down to this section here. We're going to replace this uh, top slab here with a upside down stair. So we're going to kind of break some ground, get underneath it, and we're going to place down an upside down stair there in place of that stair. After we get to this point, we want to go and then delete these item frames to both sides, and then we're going to place down a dark oak uh, fence gate coming off those two signs. We then want to go ahead and place down a dark oak trap door that comes down from the stair, like so. And then after that, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak wood fence gates. And we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate, or sorry, dark oak wood fence post coming off those two fence gates with a dark oak wood top slab like this here in the middle. Now, after we have that done, uh, we then also want to go ahead and grab some zombie heads. We're going to delete uh, this, um, this uh, sign here to both sides. We're going to place down zombie heads in its place. Also, the atom frame and bed, but that should automatically... Um, you know, disappear with the fence post being placed there. Um, but anyways, once we get to this point, we're going to place down another dark oak wood top slab here to both sides, and we want to go then place down a dark oak wood stair coming off those two fence gates just like that. Once we have that done in the center here, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some end rods, and we're going to be placing down one and two end rods going across in between those top slabs. At uh, this point here, uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood corner stair coming off these top slabs. So just double checking here to make sure everything is good to go. And uh, we are going to place down one more top slab forward. And then we're going to place down our stairs facing this direction here. And then coming off those stairs, we're going to place down another stair. So you have a corner stair with a regular stair like that in the middle. And then we're going to place down again the end rod between those top slabs there. Dark oak wood fence gate here. And then a stair like that coming off the center there. We then want to go and place down a zombie head coming off these two corner stairs. And then a zombie head coming off this front stair. From this point, we're going to go and then place down a stair here. And then a narrow stair coming off of it, like this, to both sides there. So creating the corner stairs. And we're going to also grab ourselves a barrier block. And we're going to place down a barrier block, um, basically behind the stair, like so. So kind of an angle like so. And then a dark oak sign coming off the side of it. Same thing over here, just like that. After we have that done, we're going to then grab ourselves some mossy cobblestone walls, some green terracotta blocks, and we're also going to need some dark oak buttons. We're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of this fence gate here. Dark oak button coming off the side of it, and then we're going to place down one and two, one and two mossy cobblestone walls to the sides here, followed by a green terracotta block coming off the side of those walls. And again, dark oak buttons on the sides there of those two blocks. And then going ahead and continuing to go back, two mossy cobblestone walls like that going back, again a green terracotta block, same thing over here as well, just like that. And of course our dark oak buttons come off those blocks like so. Once we have that done, we're going to go then take our levers, and on the green terracotta blocks to the sides here, we're going to place down levers coming off those blocks, facing upwards, and on top of those levers, we're going to place down two narrow brick fence posts that go up like so. So just like this for each lever. And then we're going to go ahead and also place down levers on top of the green terracotta blocks, which are going to be uh, basically flicked toward the um, narrow brick fence posts. Anyways, once we get to this point here, we're going to place down a 
But uh, Dark Oogly top slab coming off those two zombie heads. And we then want to place down a top slab here in the center, just like that, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall. And around that mossy cobblestone wall, we're going to take Dark Oogly signs and basically wrap them around the wall like so. And then on top here, we're going to place down two stone buttons and then a redstone comparator, like that on our top slab there in the center. And once we have that all complete there, that is going to basically wrap up our design here for the plow. As you can see, very simple little add-on and it definitely changes the whole appearance of this vehicle and really makes it look uh, pretty rugged and pretty mean looking. Anyways, uh, that right there is going to do it for our add-on for the engineering plow uh, for the M1132 uh, ESV or any of my Striker family vehicles. With that, thank you guys uh, for watching this tutorial. If you guys do not use this design, do it so you guys give me proper credit for it. This be the from a sign on the bill between my channel or this video if this does appear any social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use it for a project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. But with that, um, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gear 204, and I'll see you guys next time.